Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Obscure Angel BT and today we have here Dead Rising 1. So Dead Rising 1 was exclusive for a lot a lot of time on the Xbox. It was developed by Capcom and it was using the MT framework. So MT framework was one of was the engine behind uh, Devil May Cry 4, Resident Evil 5 and many other games from Capcom. But this one this specific game Dead Rising was the first game to use MT framework. So as you can see we are running the game at the highest presence possible but we are not using MSAA. So this is the visuals of a game of 2006 but ported to PC. So today we are going to benchmark uh, the game on high and on low settings. There is no big difference between the high and the low settings. It's mostly just the shadows, the anisotropic filtering and the motion blur which many people won't be missing from disable it okay so with that i hope you enjoy the gameplay and i hope to see you soon in any way if you want to check the results without recording you just need to press the green rectangle same frame rate on the upper right corner or check the details of the video so hope to see you soon goodbye enjoy it This is no time to ogle pretty girls, son. You looking to get yourself beaten alive by zombies? What? Did you just say zombies? Take a look out there. If those ain't zombies, what would you call them? There's been more and more of them since last night. Now... They're all that's out there. Hey, look on the bright side. Zombies are stupid and slow. We should be safe in here. All right, then. Feel like making yourself useful? Take a look around the mall. Bring anything we can use for the barricade back here. On delay. Come on, pronto. What you've done? Why did you summon me to this place? What are you planning? Would you calm down? I don't even know what you're talking about. What the?
Where are the others? I don't know. I hope they got away. As long as those things are in the mall, we better not use this door. Uh, what are you doing? The air ducts. They'll get us back into the mall. And apparently, those things aren't smart enough to use the ducts. So they won't be a factor. Wait a minute. You want to get back in there? What for? Hey, <sighs> nice camera. Are you a photographer? As a matter of fact, I am. Frank West, photojournalist. Could you show me some pictures, Frank? You really seem to know what you're doing. Who are you guys, anyway? And what are you... I took that one near the entrance. That guy do something? No. Nope. Thanks for showing me, though. Uh, hey, we're not done talking yet. Just who are you guys? I'm Jesse. The man you saw earlier is Brad. That's all I'm authorized to tell you. Anybody around? Anyone there? Oh, 
zombies, huh? Had a feeling you'd show up. up on me. <sighs> Brad was attacked. I located him on the monitor. Ugh! It's probably just a sprain. I've got to help Brad. Or he's done for. All right, fine. Give me your gun. Come on. I'm the reason you just got hurt. Let me help. No, I can't let a civilian do that. That's against regulations. Yeah, well, I don't think they had zombie-infested malls in mind when they wrote those regulations, kid. You know how to use this? Kinda. I've covered wars, you know. Look, after I'm through helping you, you and I are gonna have a nice little chat.
Your, uh, girlfriend sent me to find you. Who? Jesse? Damn it! Okay, we'll have to talk about this later. You know how to use that gun? I've never fired at a person. All right, I'll cover you from here. You need to stick to the shadows. Try to get close to the target, okay? And what am I supposed to do when I get close? Well, the best solution would be to shoot the guy. But if you can't do that, keep him busy dodging your bullets and stay out of trouble. Are you up to it? I'm a lot better with a camera. But yeah, I'll give it a shot. All right. Next time he reloads, I'll lay down a suppressing fire. I'm counting on you. Make your way over there. One, two, three! Hello boys and girls, welcome back now to the performance section of the video and as you can see on the different settings of the game and through the entire sequences of the game what we got on the eye settings was an average of 43, a minimum of 22 and a maximum of 74. As for the low presets or my low settings, the minimum was 25 FPS, an average of 56 and the maximum of 83. So what really happens with the performance is when we are facing hordes of zombies, there is no bottleneck, but still the performance is very similar on those both settings, I mean the high and the low settings. As for other sequences without hordes of zombies, the performance starts to be very different. So let's check the consistency of the settings, so on the high settings I got 5% of the frames over the 30s, as for the low settings it's only 2%. So very similar, so I would go and play this game at the high settings. As for the VRAM usage, the game only consumes 500 megabytes of VRAM, the RAM usage was 3.5 gigabytes which makes it easy for people with 4 gigabytes to run it. The CPU usage was mostly between 20 to 40%, but when we are facing hordes of zombies, the CPU goes easily above 60% to 80%. As for the GPU usage, it was on its maximum. So that's why I want to talk about this Dead Rising PC port from Xbox. Hope you did enjoy this video. If you like this type of stuff, benchmarking in gameplay, you just need to like my videos, share it, or subscribe my channel. So that's all. Hope you did enjoy the video and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.